it really ain't that serious. Enjoy the show. <laughs> What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Dot. And the Ville. And it's time for some shenanigans. shenanigans. Good day, good day, good day, Mike. Good night, Mike. We're here. <laughs> drag Race Down Under, y'all. That's what we doing, y'all. RuPaul's Drag Race, so it's the first season. You ready, Deville? First season, Ooh. Down Under. We had a nice week break, but we back at it. RuPaul ain't yeah. letting her foot off our neck. At all. She even took Michelle with her. So, you know, <laughs> Michelle ain't letting her foot off our necks either, y'all. So, we're doing season one, episode one of RuPaul's Drag Race Down Under. So, we're going to do it a little bit different how we normally do our normal drag race reviews y'all so we're just gonna stick to like the runways and just talk about the looks we're gonna top the looks and we're gonna chop the looks all right those of you that over there in the down under area if you don't really know what topping me or chopping me watch off some of our previous videos all right yes that'll tell y'all what the <laughs> top and chops mean all right so let's start off with their entrance looks of the girls and um first up we got yeah art simone art simone comes out so our Simone already from this look, like this bitch is polished. Polished. Like, she looks sickening. She everything she, she about. She wearing her. her name, like she coming out like a like a art piece, That's like it. A, right. Yeah, like, some type of like, like a, a uh, um, like a painting and shit. Yeah, there you go, painting, abstract like a, type. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's like splatter and shit. She like the canvas splatter. It's like good hair. It's colorful. Right. It's bold. It's big. It's, it's exciting. Very much so. Yeah. So what are you gonna do with this look? I'm um, definitely. Topic? Topping this look, I am. It's a topper, y'all. It's strong. She coming in strong. That's why the look so good. They said, "Bitch, you gotta come out first and let them know you setting the president." Exactly. Season. But you know what? What the people expecting? You know what? The first ones that walk the work workroom normally, you know, stick around for a while. So I think Art Simone is gonna be here. She look like it. We'll yeah. see. You never know, though. Okay. I seen some shit happen before. <laughs> Next we got Maxi Shields. Maxi Shield, y'all. So now with this Maxi Shield, like I can tell this is a seasoned queen. She's polished. She got her shit together. Like, especially just how she just walked in. The tits are there. The hair is big. I love this. The tits I like are her. most definitely there. You they can see are. the girls. Okay, so you can tell that's what she's definitely known for. Um big hair, yeah. big tits, a custom outfit designed to accentuate the how tits. How old do you think you she will. Look? I mean, it's, it's, it's old lady drag. I think so. It looks like I think it's old lady it's giving drag. Giving me Ursula. Oh yeah, okay. It's That's giving Ursula teas, but I'm gonna top this look. I like. Give it. me your voice, okay? <laughs> your voice. That's all you need Just to give sing, me. Just sing, sing. But, but um, I'm gonna top the look. It's strong. Top it's polished. I'm. It's it's campy. It's good. It's yeah. Seasoned. Mm-hmm. Um, she kind of reminds me of um. A famous actress. What's her name? Who? Um, that famous actress. Who? Um, the lady that played in Misery. Oh, uh, Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates. Is it giving Kathy, Kathy Bates, Bates real? A little bit, like Kathy Bates' mama or something, or Kathy. Wood. I don't know. Like it's definitely it's just giving that. Mixed with a little bit of Lauren Shane. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, she's definitely gonna be one to watch for. Next up on the block, we have. Jojo Zaho. <laughs> now Jojo Zaho, this look, I'm definitely loving the aesthetic of the look. Um, it could have been definitely the bottom part. It's very transparent. I think it just don't match the what do you call it? like pop, this is like pop art kind of like? Like yeah. Yeah, so I feel like the bottom part of it isn't matching like her face, the hair, and all of that. But it's not a bad look for me, so I'm gonna still top this look from JoJo. What I'm gonna soft look? top this look. Soft top it. It's not horrible. Yeah. It's interesting in mm -hmm. a way. Um, yeah, I soft top. It's not bad. Okay. JoJo the hoe. Okay, JoJo's a hoe. <laughs> Next up we have coming out is Miss Electra Shock. Now, Electra Shock, just from the, like the face, kind of like it's giving Bimini Bumboo Lash type of tea in the face, y'all. I ain't talking about the style and all of that because, you know, she can never do Bimini. But um, I'm not a big fan of this look. I'm going to definitely chop this look from Electra Shock. Um, 
No, we'll see what she got to oh, get. There's too much going on. I don't like what's happening. The necklace, then you got all the seat. Like, there's too much. I don't care for the wig, neither. Uh, I'm going to chop it. it You're going to chop it? It ain't my favorite uh, thus far. Do you think she's going to, um, you know, step it up? I think she's going to be uh, on her way out the door. <laughs> Don't do JoJo so I mean not JoJo. Electric shot. We still learning these bitches' names, y'all, so work with us, work with us. Next up we have coming out is Scarlet Adams. Okay, Scarlet Adams. I like this is a nice look, uh Bitch, Aquaria down. That's exactly what it's given. Like very androgynous. Uh-huh. She's cute. I love you can tell she's like one of those fashion queens and it's very fashionable. Very red, red hair. Editorial. You can tell she's gonna be one of those type of girls. So I'm gonna top this look. What you gonna do with it? I'll top it as well. I'm gonna top it as well. I ain't gonna top it as well. Yeah, I gotta top it as well. This candy's so good, y'all. Next up, we have Coco Jumbo. Coco, I'm gonna get it out. Coco Jumbo. Now this is a woman right here. A real woman. This is a woman man right here. Like she was sick in it. Yes, very much so. I love it. She look real good. I love her wig. I love the makeup. Outfit cute. Yeah. Uh, all of that. She remind me of, what's that girl that played on Glee? That same, you know, Amber Riley. Okay, like, okay. it's giving Amber Riley type of tease in the face. Like, <laughs> I've seen her tonight on the Black Lady Sketch Show. Oh, yeah. Y'all make sure y'all check the Black Lady Sketch Show out. Just one of our, our shows up over here. But, um, Miss Coco Jumbo, this look, the dress is, um, I think it's a little basic, but I just like how she looks in it, and you can tell everything is, she put it together. It's well, very well put together. Since to her will. Yeah, so I'll top it. Yeah, I'll it ain't bad it. at all. Next up, we high of, uh, Keita Mean. Keita Mean. What you think about Keita? I like it. You do? It's colorful. It's, it's giving Jumbo type of tease as far as the colorness of it all, the colorfulness of it all. It's like, it reminds me of Candyland or something. Candyland? Yeah, it's just a lot going on. Um, I like the wig. Okay. No, oh, it's campy. I like it. It's fun. You don't seem that impressed by it, though. No, like, I, as, you I sure? like it. I do. I really like it, yeah. I don't really like it. I'm going to say why. Simply because, like, don't get me wrong. I like the whole, you know, colorfulness and the campiness and all of that. But I feel like the hair ain't matching the outfit. For me, it matched the shoes. I hate it. Like, the makeup don't go. The makeup ain't right with this. The makeup matched these little bows and things. stuff. The bows then, then the I said don't thing. like it. It still look too, I don't know. She looks older in it than, you know, she should. Like, I know it's supposed to be a younger like look, but she looks older in I, it. I give you that. Yeah, so. There's an old lady. Yeah, so I'm gonna chop this look. I will top this look. He gonna top the look, y'all. Okay. I know I said a lot about it. <laughs> um, who else we got? Next up, we have... Etc. 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 Okay. Um, what you like about it? It's a given cockroach type of tease. Like, she come out, you know, as a cockroach, I guess. Um, her horns falling off. Her antenna. Uh, at tennis, that's what it is. Um, it's cool. I mean, it's not my favorite. She looks sick, and I love the makeup on her. If I can find it, got on, huh? <laughs> but you know, it's I'm gonna top the look. I am. What you gonna do with it? I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna chop it or top it. Oh, she look cute. Um, but mm, I don't but, like the back. Uh huh. I don't really like the front. <laughs> it look like... She's pretty though. Like, I will give her that. It look like uh, Peter Pan. Yeah. Like brown or I think the gloves are a little brown. too big for her as well. Like, But I I guess it's cockroaches. Cockroaches is everywhere. So I guess <laughs> I'll go for it. I'll chop it. I don't really care for it. You don't care for it? Nah. Well, I'm going to soft top it. Just because the makeup kind of saves it. So, oh, shit. Yeah. Whatever. I think she's going to do good, though. I got my money up on this bitch right here. Next up, we have... Anita Winglet. Anita Wing... Is that like a play on, like... Anita Winglet? Maybe there's something over there that they say something like that. I'm sure that name is definitely a play on something. But, um... I like this look. 
It's giving um it's giving detox. Down, down. Like, yeah, mixed with the personality of Utica Queen. <laughs> but I'm gonna top this look, even though it's a lid tart, y'all. I'm gonna chop this look. Yeah. Oh, you gonna chop it? I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Next up we got Karen from Finance. Karen, Karen, Karen. I mean, she's giving you sherry pie. Okay. Old lady drag. Old lady drag. Y'all know how I feel about old lady drag. Can't be. It's not my favorite, but I mean, she do look good. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, I'm not gonna front. It's well you know, put together. Very well put together. Um, it's giving Miss Doubtfire type of tease, <laughs> you know, but I'm gonna top this look from Karen for Finance. You want to watch? I'll top it as well. Yeah. Um, but her, for her to have this old lady drag or whatever, she definitely looked real young in the face. I give her that, like, she looks very youthful and, yeah, like a young person trying on old people clothes. It's an illusion. <laughs> it's all an illusion. Yes. All right, so we're going to move it along, you guys, to the runway looks, y'all. So they have two runways. RuPaul's like, bitch, y'all got two. I thought it was going to be three because normally when they start, they've been starting the seasons out with three one runways, but... We got two, y'all, and the categories are Born Naked and... No Place Like Home. There's No Place Like Home. I hate that one, though, y'all. Like, the No Place Like Home, you always have to give, I guess, your hometown. Yeah, hometown, hometown realness. Yeah, and whatever. And if we don't get it, we don't get it. On this episode, RuPaul is kind of coming out. Child, this was so foolish of RuPaul. I mean, I didn't like it. This was foolish of RuPaul to do. RuPaul walked out as RuPaul, right? I mean, as, well, as drag RuPaul, right? And then, what happened then, DeVille? He said, I left my makeup back on. <laughs> I forgot it. So I'm, I'm like, like, what? I'm not. I'm just going to be RuPaul Charles. I'm, I'm RuPaul Charles tonight. And not Mr. RuPaul Charles. And not Mama Ru tonight. Right. So, I think it's the first time we saw it. Yeah, I'm like, why would she do that? We saw RuPaul Charles in the thing or whatever? Yeah. So, I guess she was pretty much, I guess Ru, Mama Ru was pre-recorded and actual RuPaul as a man was there judging, doing the critiques and stuff. Right. right so In her basement right here. Okay, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let's get to the runway. So, the first one is the Born Naked one. Did so, you like Rue look first? I'm sorry. Oh. Did you like Rue, Mama Rue look? So RuPaul had on, you know, <laughs> a, black, a black shimmery dress, you know? I didn't care for it. I didn't. It had on like white, uh, Washington. Is it, you wear Washington? The hair, hair yeah. I didn't like the hair. It's a little flat for me, but. I liked everything. Everything went together perfect, RuPaul. You did it again. Oh, right. whatever. He just. <laughs> First up is Scarlett Adams. Scarlett Adams, there you go. <laughs> she giving you. Yes, ma'am. She giving you. She just knew with bouncy titties. She got the whole bodysuit on. She got a slit on her side. She giving you clitoris. Now, hopefully, our video don't get flat for showing y'all this. You know, even though it's fake, but she's giving you full on titties, y'all. Just. I like it. I'm gonna yes. top this look. It's bold. I'm topping it for sure. It's got. She got a little pussy hair down there, so that's cute. Little you know. clitoris. Yeah. You know. Next up, we got Maxi Shields. Maxi Shields. Um, she give you '90s naked uh, sex, new sex photos from back in them days and shit. Okay, it's giving Ginger Minj down. <laughs> and like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's sickening. She got the big sense, of course. <laughs> once again, the nice, you know, see-through dress. I like it. I'm gonna top this look from. I'll top it as well. She from is home girl. Ginger. I'm mm -hmm. topping it for Ginger. <laughs> right. Next up, we have Electra Shock. So she giving you a play on an old RuPaul look. I, I like the old RuPaul look better. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. It's like a modern take of it. I'm not like. I'm chopping it. Nothing. It's a chop for me. I don't really like it. It's more like a superhero look than a new look. So yeah. let's just chop it. Next up, we have Coco Jumbo. Uh, Coco Jumbo, her hair is amazing. It's flawless. It's beyond the, amazing. The makeup is everything. That's a woman in the Yes, face. yes. Whatever this outfit she was trying to pull up, this angry bird thing with these eyes, I don't, I'm not seeing it. So I'm going to just chop this look because I'm not buying it. Me either. The hell? Next Ooh, up, basically Electra, I mean Electra, etc, etc. Et 
Now this is a look right here. This is a look. This is a topper, y'all. This shit right here is fucking fire. It's sick now. She got blood coming out the pussy. Okay, she got blood. She got blood coming out the ass or something. A titty chopped off. A titty chopped here. It's just visually. It's the just, hair looks good. It's everything. It's everything. It's everywhere. It's... Yeah, say it. It's say just, it. It's, it's morbidly sexy. You know Period. what I mean? Period. It, it looks it, good. It does. So it's, it's a, a look. I'm topping it. I'm it's topping this look. For sure. Next up, we have. <laughs> why would she do that? <laughs> jumped up. scared the home. fuck out of us. That's what She's been it down that she jumped up, y'all. So. Uh, mm. It's very basic. Very. And it's not. And it's not executed well. You can see her coochie hairs and. You see the titties, but it all just don't. I think that's the purpose, right? To see the coochie. Hairs. I mean, I want to see it, but <laughs> make it believable, you know? Like, I don't believe it. I just think the bodysuit is just wasn't the body executed. Suit is, the bodysuit is trash. Yeah. The bodysuit is trash, the wig is trash, it don't even go together right. Like it nothing don't. is nothing is going together properly for yeah. this shit. So I'm just gonna have to chop that shit. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Next up we have Karen from Finance. Karen from Finance. Okay, it's a polished look. It's Once a polished again. look. She giving you polished hair, she giving you polished bathing suit. She giving you campy new reveal. Yes, Karen. She giving you the suntan okay. and shit. She giving you the uh the yellow the golden. Oh, is that what that supposed to be? The suntan. Yeah, the suntan. So, so I asked somebody the other day. I was swimming the other day, and you know, as a black person, I don't really get those the tan lines and stuff like that. And I have you know a bunch of white friends, so I'm like, what is the significance of having the tan line on your ass? Like, you know, say so is that something that's supposed to be something sexy? That's supposed to be something you know guys like? And she was just like. Well, you know, guys, you know, when they see that you have a tan line and they see like the part that isn't tan, they think that it's pure and no one has touched it and no one has, un you know, seen it. So they think that they're like the first, it's me either, but this is what she was telling me. So she was just giving me the history around behind tan lines for, you know, people. But I've definitely heard men like be like fascinated with tan lines for some reason. I don't know. Okay, so, but just wanted to say that. That's why when he said tan lines, it made me think of that. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have Anita Wiglet. Is this new? Oh, oh she's, I, I guess she's like a E from Adam and Eve. Yeah, like, okay. I was gonna go say the, poison go ivy. Go they go the snake, and then she got the apple. apple. Don't eat that apple. Don't, don't eat, eat it. that apple winglet. Don't, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Detox. Don't you do it? <laughs> it's the nose for me, y'all. She got a. It's cute. I don't hate it. Uh, yeah, I'll soft top it. Yeah, it's a soft top for me too. Next up, we have. Ketamine. Ketamine. It's the basic balls look. I guess these balls supposed to be what bubbles or she new with bubbles. I'm it, not getting. I'm it. not getting new from it. I don't like these. I just don't like the balls hanging from the bottom. Yeah. Of it. It's giving me flashbacks of a bad. And then the arms seem a little flabby on it and shit. Yeah. Like it's just it's a chop. I'm it's a chop. Next up we have Art Simone. Art Simone. Now yes, this is a motherfucking look right here. Yeah. This is how you serve up a nude look. This is how you do it. This With is style how. And motherfucking grace. This is exciting. This is You know what you remind me of? With this look. Chelsea boy? Yes, God. How you know? I was gonna say it's giving Chelsea boy down. Okay. That's this Chelsea is, boy aesthetic. Yes it is. But this is more this is polished. This is it's more polished than Chelsea's. Um, this is it's polished. Like, it was sickening Chelsea though. Polished, like this was sickening. I like this. I one. enjoyed it. I loved it. I'm yeah. a top, most definitely top. Yes, guy, it's, it's a topper. Mm -hmm. Who we got next? Rusi, Ruth playing back and forth, talking with the judges, act like she there. You know. Speaking of Judy Garland, um, the next runway is No Place Like Home. There's no place like home. First up on the runway, we have Miss Scarlett Adams. She gives me black swan realness. I like the look. I think it's great. I love the makeup. I love the hair. Everything looks polished. I love the dress. I like the fucking black swan on her fucking hand. Mm -hmm. I'm going to top this shit. It's I just like some missing for me. Um, I don't know what exactly it is, but she looks fucking awesome. Um, the hair, the, the dress. But it just feel like something is missing from this look for me. So I'm gonna soft top this look for her. She was fine. <laughs> Next up we have Maxi Shield. Maxi Shield's giving you shrimp realness. Come on, shrimp realness. Yes. Even though it's a chop for me, I'm but not I'm like, yes. <laughs> I'm not either. I don't want no parts of this shrimp. Um, very campy, over the top. Um, yeah. 
I like the tattoos though. I will give her that. You know, that's all I like. Not the favorite look I've seen tonight. So I'm gonna chop it. <laughs> I don't hate her though. I'm right. Gonna chop this look. Next up we have Electra Shaw. Electra. So her for her hometown real this look. I guess she lives on the gay pride uh, somewhere. I don't know. Bitch, I'm chopping it. I don't like it. I don't know what's going on. It's, it's a lot going on. It's hearts. It's gay pride on the shoulders. It's a cape. It's a too much, right? It's blonde Marilyn Monroe wig. It's a, it's a lot of makeup, but none of it's cohesive. I don't know where this bitch is from. Exactly. What town is this in Australia? Okay, because I want to know. I haven't been. I don't if they real want a real queen from Australia, bitch, y'all should have been called Courtney Act. This is Courtney Act's goddamn title right here, but yeah, y'all say fuck her. We just gonna find some new bitches. She not loud on the show. Uh, clearly. They better have her on here at least. Well, I'm sure they is. Watch. Mark my words, they're gonna have Courtney act on this show. They're really not. They better. <laughs> they better. Who they else? Okay, anyway. Coco Jumbo. Choco Jumbo next up, y'all. <laughs> Coco Jumbo giving you eighth chat realness. I don't feel this look. Um, I don't like it. It's just not. Uh, it's a bold choice. I'll top it. I like the makeup. I like the hair. She look good in the face. The she neck did. up. The neck up is good, but down under. I hate it. It's a chop. Next we got <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. She looks good. Like this bitch is sickening. She looks amazing. She does. I love the look. I love the makeup. I love all of this. It's giving um it's giving um got mixed look. Remember that runway look where she had the pink and um blue on and it was blowing, she had the the wind blowing. That's what it kinda reminds me of. That's that's better than that. Do you think so? Yes. God makes look better or this is better? No, that's better. Oh, okay. Cool. But I'm going to top this look. Topper. Topper. Yes, 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 yes. Next up. <laughs> Jojo Zaho. So first off, she is doing a slow glide down this runway. And bitch, you ain't eating none like, of it. Like she eating. She ain't eating nothing. The makeup is not good. It's like... So speed the walk up, girl. Two rosy cheeks. And then the basic regal royal lip thing yeah. and uh, African braids. Is you black? At the top. I just wanna know, is she black? Is she black? She black. African okay. braids at the top and uh, I don't like it. That shit ain't. For the story she was trying mm. to tell, I didn't get it. It wasn't told. But at the end, I guess she put up some message for her. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research That's on this young lady it. because you know she was doing a lot of black talk this black talk that and I wasn't really quite seeing the blackness so maybe from where she's from she's considered that so I don't know I just want to know before I get the reading bitches and feeling some type of way about you know what I'm saying cultural preparation and all that good shit but on the other hand she looks good though so but it's a chop for this look I'm gonna chop it yeah yeah Next up, Karen from Finance. Karen. Now, bitch, don't be a Karen for real, nah. Okay? Don't be a Karen. Now, with this look, she coming out old drunk She's white bitch. Drunk white woman. Yes, she is. I ain't gonna lie, the outfit is sickening, though, bitch. You did it. Like, yes, ma'am. She yes, told the story. Uh, her makeup right. The wig is right for the story. The back look good, the front look good. I just noticed, like, her shoes are her, shoe her hand. hand. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, I, I, I get it, bitch. Top. Yeah, this is top for sure. <laughs> Next up, Anita Wicklip. She's a fucking goat. <laughs> she walking out because she giving her look. <laughs> you know, I don't really like it. I don't Man. see why she would wear this for her first runway look. She doing, uh, this is her hometown. It Maybe is, but, but I guess it goes with her personality, I guess. So it's a soft top for me. I'm going to chop it because it's a goat costume. Right, it ain't giving them the shape that I need. Next up, we have Kita Mean. Kita Mean. Give you Bianca Del Rio, real. Mixed with, um, she look like somebody else in the face, though, too. Ellie Diamond. I don't know. You don't see Ellie Diamond? A little, man, I don't know. Maybe. A little bit. But this look with her, I don't hate it. I don't hate it either. I mean, it's all black. She looks totally different from I'm, her first look, I so I can get that. Look. Yeah, I can give her from, she because she looked totally different person. I didn't know who the fuck the bitch was, <laughs> but yeah, I'll top it. Next up, Arsimone. Yes, bitch, eat it up. Now this is, 
She's selling the liquor already. Yeah, she ain't everything. even doing them. She ain't even doing much. Not know? at all. But I know she about to do some shit. You feel Real me? shit. You can just tell. Okay, oh. bitch, there it go. And this voila. Motherfucking shit up. And she yeah. let these bitches know. Voila. Real quick. Voila. Art Simone is not just the fucking name, bitch. I am Art. She is Art. Like, she looks this the fuck a fucking up. look. And she put a fucking fresh, one of them fresh side fucking hats out and shit. Period. And she fucking caked. This is my favorite look of the fucking night. Of the night. I will she definitely say shit. that. She did. No hey, other I like I like all her looks that I seen. No I bitch. like all three looks that I seen from her tonight. Uh-huh. So for right now, this is my top bitch right now, as of right now, for what I can see. I was I I I agree. Cause y'all cause when she took the cape off, y'all she twirled that bitch. That shit, she yeah. made that bitch a whole new outfit, back, you know? Yeah. So, those were all the girls for the nights with their runway. They had two this um, this episode. So, who do you think had the best combined? R. Simone. R. Simone, okay. <laughs> like, you just said it, y'all. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I guess R. definitely Simone. with each of those looks, um, R. Simone did the shit. Like, bitch, you ate it. I think she's gonna be like one of my top people that I'm gonna be rooting for this season. What about you? She polished. I, I, I fucks with it right now. But we'll see. It's, it's the days is early. Yeah. We'll see. It's always early, but you know what we gotta do. We normally pick three people that we are just gonna just guess and predict to go to the R. Simone, Karen from Finance, etc. etc. Oh, why you gotta take everybody I wanna say? <laughs> Cause those are exactly I was definitely gonna say R. Simone, Karen from Finance, and etc. <laughs> Doggies, who's there? Y'all hear the babies? Uh, but and also, um, et cetera, et cetera, y'all. Definitely gonna go with her. Um, but this should be an interesting season, you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys will be here with us throughout the entire season. Share these videos with people. Watch our old Drag Race reviews just to get to know who we are and our personalities and all that good stuff. Down Under season one has begun. Yes, are yes. Are y'all ready? I Start your engines. Ugh. Are you ready? May the best woman win. And next week we get Espanja. So y'all get ready for that. Oh, that's too. next week too? Probably. Oh my gosh. And then also for next week with them, girl. Uh don't say girl. Girl, yeah, y'all girls. Um, they're doing Snatch Game already. Can you fucking believe it? Snatch game already. Snatch it up. But anyways, make sure you guys continue to like our videos and send them around, all right? And we just want to thank you all for watching this episode with us, all right? And see you guys next time, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, comment. and subscribe. Right. See ya. Peace.